So today is Mexican twist. So this isn't exactly a Mexican burrito. This is a Korean beef bulgogi burrito. And I'm going to show you how to marinate this beautiful beef to make the most tender beef you've had in your life. So here we've got some sliced porterhouse steak. So that's going to go straight into our bowl. Okay. While I'm doing some other things and having a bit of a chat, if you can, Great, this is a Nashi Asian pear. Oh, I love them. All right, now this is going to really help to break down our beef and make it really tender. Very cool. How cool. Our beef can go into our bowl. Then we're going to add some other ingredients. Here I've got a little knob of fresh ginger, which I'm going to get Jack Yum. to grate that as well. Yep. Here we've got a couple of cloves of garlic that can go in. Here we've got some gochujang which is a fermented chili paste. Beautiful flavour. Now, pa you boys love the gochugang paste, yeah, I have to say. It's popped we up use in it a, a lot. few recipes. Oh, yeah, so Mike uses it as well. Yeah. yeah. Well, so it's made me really keen to get home and mm. actually get some into our pantry because yeah. I don't. I'd probably lean on miso a bit, mm. which this has a bit of the same umami yeah, that flavour as well. Yeah, flavour, absolutely. Then we've got some sesame seeds. They can go in. All right. How's that pear looking? It's juicy. Juicy, that's what Come we on. want. Yeah, lovely. That can all go into our bowl as well. Then we've got some sugar. Any sugar will do. Here I'm using a raw sugar, so that can go in. And here we've got a grated onion, that can go in. Then some sesame oil, a good drizzle of sesame oil. This marinade's going to be epic. Oh, it's just packed full of yeah. flavour. Yeah. And some soy sauce. In we go. So I'm not going to put any salt in here. We're getting our salt content from the soy. All right, that's great. And the ginger can Come right up. go in as that well. Much? Yeah, perfect. I love that. Now I just want to grab a spoon and just give this a good mix. Cover it with some glad wrap. Into the fridge for at least two hours. You could do this the day before. And then we'll come back and make some Korean burritos. It smells so good. So after that two hours of marination, we just cooked it really hot pan and it only needs a minute or two. And I cooked it in batches because yep. the last thing you want is for your beef to start to stew. And that's what can happen if you overcrowd the pan. But you can see we've got that beautiful caramelisation. Do you want to have a little Look, taste? I was trying to hold myself there, back. There's a nice little bit. Thank you. We've got it. I, I can't stop myself. Mm. That's delicious. Beautiful and tender. Mm. Now, we've used porterhouse, mm. but you don't need to use a really expensive eye fillet or anything like that. Because we're marinating that beef, it's going to tenderise. So you could use rump, you could even use a flank steak or something like that. That's a great idea, because mm. I think often people and I'm one of those people, bumble their way around the aisle wondering <laughs> what to use. Yeah. All right, we've got our burrito wrap. Let's get wrapping. So, on the board. We've got some Japanese mayonnaise here. Bit of Kewpie. Bit of Kewpie. You love your Kewpie uh, I'm obsessed. So, a, a nice, generous dollop of our Kewpie down the middle. All right, then we've got some rice that you have cooked for me. So this is just, just microwave rice, but this is great because it's a coconut, chili and lemongrass oh, rice. Oh, yum. So perfect bearing with yeah. all of the Asian flavours. Already packed yeah, with some nice. flavour, which is great. So we'll just get a nice spoonful of our rice. Oh, a couple of spoonfuls. Why not? Onto our burrito. It's a good way to bulk out a burrito, isn't it? Yeah. Some good rice, good Absolutely. quality rice. I love the flavourings in this, the chilli, the lemongrass. Mm. I personally am a big fan of basmati rice. Here we've got some kimchi, which Ooh, is a chilli fermented cabbage. And again, it's just emphasising those Korean flavours yeah. as well. Kimchi. And then we've got some black beans. Fantastic. So you are actually, even though it's a beef burrito, mm. you are actually getting good vegetable sources and whole yeah. grains in here as well, which I love to see. Absolutely. Now, the real star of the show is our bulgogi beef. So we want to get a nice pile of that onto here. Yes. And then, thank you, you sliced up these spring onions magnificently. A sprinkle of our spring onions on top. 
Now the difficult part, we've got to wrap it up. Now I've got a pan here. We're yep. going to toast our burrito. So I'll just fold in the edges. This is always the trick too, right? I know. The ultimate roll. Yep. And then just bring our burrito over and just get a nice tight wrap on our burrito. Oh, you've done that well, my friend. Oh, I could have done it better. <laughs> okay, into the pan. And I'm yep. going to go that seal side down because once that toast is going to help it to hold together. Mm. Bit of glue. Okay, we'll transfer our burrito over to the pan and just place that in there. Toast that on all the sides, slice it in half, and we have a Korean beef bulgogi burrito. All right, Jack, our burrito has toasted up beautifully. Pop that down. Let's slice it open. This is where I get excited, and we'll see in the middle. Straight through the middle, be confident. Oh, I like it. You're going to see all those beautiful layers, that thin steak, the black beans, the kimchi, the rice. Perfect. And then just a little stack onto our plate. You can always add a little bit of greenery if you want. There you go, a bit of fun. They won't stay on the plate for long. Korean beef bulgogi burritos. Mate, are you ready to get cracking again? Because that's not going to be enough for two. All right. I I'll, need my own, thanks. I'll get wrapping and we'll make some more burritos. Excellent. <laughs>